Hey, answer questions one, long time no see. What you got for me? Okay, premise one, information can only come from a mind. Premise two, DNA is information. Therefore, DNA came from a mind. You see, I saw your video and honestly, it wasn't clear for me which of these two premises is wrong according to you. Well, a necessary first step is for you to define information. Information is a series of codes organized in a complex and independent pattern. Okay, that's not how information is defined in information theory, but... Okay. I'll accept your definition for the sake of argument. Let's see where this leads us. So there are three things. One, organized. Two, complex. And three, independent pattern. A book has information because it's complex, it has many letters, it's organized, I mean, even though there are billions and billions of ways in which you can organize the letters, only one or few combinations can create a book with meaning, and it's independent because the way in which the letters are organized is independent from the chemical properties of ink and paper. Sure, I agree. So, now that you know what is the meaning of information, please tell me what's wrong with this creationist argument. Do you believe that premise one, that, that states that information can only come from a mind, is wrong? Do you believe that premise two, which states that DNA information is wrong? Which of the two premises is wrong, according to you? And please present evidence. Uh, yeah, I think I'll accept premise one. But not premise two. DNA is complex because it has many codes. Sure. It's organized. I mean, there are billions and billions of ways in which you can organize these codes, but only one or few combinations can create something functional. Yeah. And it's independent because the way in which these codes are organized is are independent from the chemical properties of the amino acids. This is where I have a problem with this. You can't compare the chemical properties of the amino acids or nucleic acids, the, the chemical properties of DNA with the chemical properties of ink and paper when you compare DNA and written text. Change the chemical makeup of the ink and, I mean, that has no effect on what is written. The meaning of the text won't change. Change the chemical makeup of DNA and you change what it does. The chemical makeup of DNA is the information. Now, as you will no doubt have noticed, I dodged your um, demand that I provide falsifiable evidence for what I said and I'm going to explain why I did that. I do not need to prove that a premise is false in order to reject it as unsupported. The burden of proof is on the side making the claim, in other words, the side actually presenting the argument. All I have to do to not grant you an argument is to point out that there is a premise that I don't accept. See ya.